In other news, the Bahamas has seen its share of hurricanes and severe storms over the years as is part of the Caribbean basin. It's exposed to possible storms during the hurricane season of June 1st to November 30th. And it is for this reason that officials are continuing to educate the public on the do's and don'ts during a storm or disaster. In its second year, a hurricane town hall took place Thursday night at the CV Bethel High School where senior representatives from the Meteorology Office and the National Emergency Management Agency were brought together by constituency leaders giving information on survival packs and general concerns in the event of a storm. Member of Parliament for the Golden Gates constituency Michael Fogg saying the meeting was a joint effort to better prepare residents throughout the season. And last year we had a hurricane preparedness town hall meeting and Golden Gates is here we expanded it and it's a joint effort, a combined effort with Golden Gates, Tampa Town and South Beach and um, again we're bringing in information to the people and let them know what they need to know and sensitize them to hurricane preparedness. Well, the department director at the Department of Meteorology, Trevor Basin, explaining information becomes a life-protecting tool during natural disasters such as hurricanes, so information from local TV or radio updates during a storm can make all the difference. Don't listen to the U.S. Their alerting system is different from ours. They have a watch warning and an all clear. In the Bahamas, we have alert watch warning all clear so we have a four-tier system their system is three tiers 80 percent of the bahamas 10 feet or less above main sea level and they've also been out of season uh, hurricanes and tropical storms meaning from december through may they have also been so you don't look at just the season right you just look at the advice given by the department of meteorology